We're drawing 1962 here, and let's look at the King of the Monsters' first kaiju rival, a monster that went from foe to a friend, a monster that, although not in many films, has become iconic, a monster that is almost as old as Godzilla himself, this being Ingiris. Godzilla raids again and released in 1955 and is a sequel to Gojira. In the film, Godzilla returns to wreak havoc in Tokyo, but unlike before, he has a kaiju to fight. Ingiris was the first monster to fight Godzilla and has a lengthy history with him. Though we are here to learn about the original version of him, so let's see how he was brought to life. Being played by Katsumi Tezuka, Ingeros was the second kaiju created for the Godzilla franchise. The suit was created by modeler Tezo Toshimitsu and the Yagi Brothers. The Yagi Brothers created the body, meanwhile the head was done by Toshimitsu. Toshimitsu also created a clay model of Ingeros. There are two clay models created. An interesting note is that one of the models shows Ingeros' carapace cut in two. Originally his carapace would have been cut in two in the film, but this caused a lot of errors while filming, and so it was fixed. The parts of the movie were filmed before this fix was done. So, if you look closely and hard enough, you can see the carapace split in two in some parts of the film. And Geos was supposed to have a breath weapon like Godzilla called the Incandescent Light, but it was cut. This attack can be seen in the posters, concept art, and even the tie-in manga. This attack looks like it would have acted like Godzilla's atomic breath. Although not appearing in any other Showa film, this version of Angeras was almost in an American film. Originally set to release in 1957, The Volcano Monsters was a US edit of Godzilla Rage Again. This film would have had a new story and new special effects, so Toho created new suits for the project and sent them to the US. Though the film was never made and the suits were not used, there we have photos of the suits. Though unfortunately in the photos you can't see much of Ingeris, only his front half. Though what you can see is he kept mostly the same compared to his original counterpart. The only differences I can spot is that he now has an extra pair of teeth on his bottom jaw, the spikes on his carapace are less sporadic and more straightened out, and finally his legs are super skinny and more straightened out compared to the original. Now I'm sure there's more, but we only have a handful of photos with them, and they only saw off his front half. Check out my Gyakushu Goji video for more information on the film. In Gyarus 1955 wouldn't appear in another film, but that's not to say he wouldn't be seen again. He appeared in the tie-in manga for the film, some books, and various video games. He made appearances in Godzilla, Godzilla Great Monster Battle, Godzilla Kaiju Collection, and Godzilla Battle Line. Although he was created for the game, he was never released in it, this game being Godzilla Defense Force. And he also appeared in Godzilla PS4 as part of the wiki section. And of course, there's merchandise of this version of Ingeros you can get, but the most affordable, and I'd say best if you just want the character, being the Bandai Movie Monster Series figure. Ingeros 1955, although not as widely known, still has a presence in modern day, even to the point where in the Netflix anime, Godzilla Singular Point, Ingeros can split his kirpus as a reference to the original Ingeros. I have two things to note though. Firstly on Rikizilla, it notes how an Ingeros maquette was used for Frankenstein vs. Baragon, but I couldn't find much information on this. And secondly, I released my History of Gakushigoji video on January 4th, and in this video I talked about the volcano monsters. At the time, I could only find a handful of images to use for the film and talking about it, but interestingly enough, four days after the video, brand new images were uploaded on Wikizilla. These images were not on the site before this, and I couldn't even find them before they were uploaded there. Now, I'm not saying that my video, you know, sparked some interest to put these photos out there, or sparked interest to look into volcano monsters more. I'm not saying that, but, you know, it's kind of a coincidence, if you will, that I uploaded my video and then four days after that happened. Of course, could be completely separate. Just a fun thing to bring up. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I apologize if I mispronounce any Japanese names. Gojo1962, signing off.